In today's video, I'm going to tell you my top tips for going and staying vegan in 2024. These tips are based on what I have learned and what has helped me through my journey. Now that it's been about six or seven years that I've been plant-based, I can say that I for sure would never eat meat again, would never eat dairy again, never eat seafood again. So here are my top tips to help you on your own journey. Before we get started, I want you to grab a cup of your favorite tea or coffee or wine or beer or drink or whatever you like and just get comfy get cozy maybe grab your journal write down some notes because these tips you are gonna want to remember okay guys let's go tip number one start with your why write it down remember it remember the reason that you're watching this video right now what is the main reason that you're going vegan for me personally it was for my health I ended up watching forks over knives and from that day after learning that red meat was the number one carcinogen I decided then and there I did not want to put that in my body and then of course it became a transition into veganism over the next few years but yes always start with your why write it down go back to it and look at it when you start to feel like veganism is getting hard for you tip number two quite often people think about veganism as a restrictive diet but really it's a lifestyle that is allowing you to add a lot more to your life so just think about the things that you're adding there are over 2,000 edible plants on this planet and people are only focused on the same like five animals that they get to eat so instead of thinking what you can eat just think of all the new things you'll be able to eat tip number three it's okay to eat more seriously listen to your hunger listen to your body listen to what feels good vegan foods are less calorically dense because you don't have butter and cheese and meat and these things are all very calorically dense and vegan foods just don't have that same like saturated fats so it's good for your body but you do need to eat more to be more full so listen to your body if you're hungry keep eating no worries <laughs> okay i should have put this one first or second this is one of my favorite tips still make your favorite foods go make a list right now write down everything that you like to eat spaghetti and meatballs hamburgers pizza, whatever it is, write it down, make a huge list, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, anything. And now when you're going vegan, just do some research on the meat products and the dairy products and substitute it for a vegan version. So for instance, if you love ice cream, you know, I could never give up ice cream and guess what? I still eat ice cream, but now I just make it from a base of either coconut milk or bananas and make nice cream. So whatever you like to eat, there is definitely a way you can veganize it. Okay, my next tip is don't go too crazy on the legumes and beans to start off with because it can be pretty hard on your digestion system if you're not used to eating that much fiber. So if you go from being a complete meat eater diet to a completely vegan diet and you're eating lentils with every meal and beans with every meal, it's going to be pretty hard on your digestive system. So I would recommend just slowly adding in lentils and beans like maybe once every few days to your meals and then as your body is getting used to the high amount of fiber then you can start adding them in every meal. Okay my next tip is to take a B12 supplement or just eat very high B12 foods so this includes nutritional yeast and lots of fortified milks. Even if you are a meat eater, definitely I recommend still to take a B12 supplement because B12 is actually gotten from the dirt that animals eat. But because of factory farming these days, the cows and pigs and everything aren't eating the dirt. They're just eating like the corn and soy feed that farmers are producing for them. So even meat eaters aren't getting enough B12 these days. So even if you're a vegan or meat eater, definitely supplement B12 or just eat a ton of nutritional yeast and fortified milks. My next tip is to just try and eat a wide range of fruits and vegetables. You don't have to worry that you're going to hit all your mineral intake. If you eat a healthy, balanced, whole foods, plant-based diet, you are bound to get all your vitamins and minerals. No need to worry. Okay, my next tip is to do a kitchen, pantry, fridge clean out. So right now, if you are trying to eat more vegan, but you notice that you have these you know, cheese crackers in your pantry that you keep munching on, go donate them, go give them to a food bank, go give them to your neighbor. You don't need them in your house. You are trying to eat more plant-based and you can find a cheese alternative cracker snack that is vegan. So do a kitchen clean out, do a pantry clean out. It's gonna make you feel so much better and so much more motivated 
once you have your fridge and shelves stocked with delicious vegan foods. Okay, my next tip is a big one for when you're in the grocery store. In order to really be vegan and plant-based, you have to be able to read food labels properly. In the bottom of a food label, generally whatever country you're watching this from, it has to say an allergen. So contains milk, contains eggs, wheat, soy, all the allergen foods, it has to say it on the bottom. So if it says it contains eggs, milk products, meat, even gelatin and whey, which gelatin is animal bone, which is in most lots of candies and marshmallows and stuff like that. And whey is in most like uh, like a lot of non-vegan protein powder products or like like whey granola bars sometimes if they're like a high protein granola bar. So just look out for those. And then here's the trick: may contain if it says may contain milk, eggs, dairy, whatever. That just means that it was made in the same factory and it is not actually in the product. So if it says may contain, it's good, you can still eat it. If it says contains, it's actually in the product, don't eat it. Okay, my next tip is a big one for those of you who like to travel or go on trips or go out to dinner with friends. When you're vegan, it does take a little bit of pre-planning. So whenever I go out with dinner with friends, I usually look online at the menu of the restaurant first just to make sure there's a vegan option. If there's not, then sometimes I'll contact the restaurant and tell them my dietary needs and the chef is often quite happy to make me something. If that is not the case, then sometimes I will just kind of like eat a little bit beforehand and then just order like a side when I'm there. So, because quite often most restaurants will have sides that vegans can eat like french fries and salad. They might not always have a main dish, although it is getting better now in 2024. A lot of restaurants are recognizing the plant-based diet and are having at least one or two options. Yeah, just pre-plan. Pre-plan if you're going out for dinner with friends. If you're taking a road trip, make sure to bring lots of snacks with you, especially like good high protein vegan snacks. You know, nuts are a really good road trip thing. Fruits, veggies, hummus really easy and they don't spoil like regular meat based or dairy based food would so that's a bonus always make sure your fridge and your cupboards are stocked with essentials that you need to make any delicious vegan food so you're not just stuck there like opening your fridge wondering what to make and then ordering takeout or you know eating a meat based more convenient product these are things like make sure you always have like chickpeas and lentils tomato sauce coconut milk rice quinoa you know you can always make a good stir fry with those or a good like curry you yeah, always stock up with good spices Whatever spices you like, just have like a few on hand that you love. You can always like coat your tofu in, you know, Italian seasoning, poultry seasoning, whatever you like. Spices are key to a delicious, good vegan meal plan. If you love this video, definitely go check out my next one. I'll link it here for you. See you there.